नेटवर्क ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम क्वाइट सिंपल टू इंप्लीमेंट दिस नेटवर्क ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम बट फॉर यूजर्स टू एक्सेस एंड यूटिलाइज देम इट्स समवर्ड डिफिकल्ट देन दी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो इट प्रोवाइड्स अ कंप्लीट एनवायरमेंट हेयर the users are available or they the information is available to them that they are multiple machines and they have remote resources on each machine remote logging in network network operating system say uh, you have a telnet so internet provides a telnet facility for this remote login so remote login say this is telnet and this is some site so it creates a socket connection what it creates it creates a socket connection we are talking about telnet remote login so between the local machine if this is your local machine say this is your local machine and this is say uh, this site where you want to reach so it opens a bidirectional connection you can enter a username and password or you can either go anonymously so user now here can and can execute any command on this remote computer maybe you are in india and this is in us you fail you can execute any command on this remote computer just like you are doing it here now remote file transfer every system has its own local file system so we need some password say or we need some anonymous uh, way to enter so if uh, we are going anonymously we will access only the public public uh, available access that is the access being provided to us and the internet provides this ftp program like the connect you connect with this but you say here ftp this is the file transfer protocol and you can just transfer the file like get some file you can just get it and you must know where the files are in the subdirectories this is how you do the file transfer remotely and uh, this may happen that various files can exist and if there are various files then inconsistency needs to be taken care and only predefined set of file related commands can be used like the get like the put ls or dir or cd so this get this is from remote to local machine put is from local to remote machine ls and dir this is listing of file in current directory of say remote machine and cd is changing the current directory of the remote machine a window user can log into the unique system window user can log into the unique system using the telnet and it may you know change the paradigms so user must use the unix command here and distributed operating system address this kind of issue which which i just told you